A Pinellas County woman collects unused food from local restaurants and grocery stores and gives it away for free. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone found out what made, motivated her to help the needy and where she plans to go from here. Barbara Stacy lives on a fixed income, about $850 a month. On Tuesday, she gets to pick up groceries for free. For someone like me, this is a real blessing. I mean, big blessing. Before the pandemic, she worked for Uber to make extra money. She quit after doctors told her she is at a high risk for catching COVID-19 because of her underlying health issues. She says food giveaways like this save her money. If it wasn't for this, you know, I'd probably be eating a lot of ramen noodles. <laughs> On Tuesday, seniors living in Pinellas Park receive free food like meat, eggs, fruits, and vegetables. Heather Brooke and other volunteers collect unused food from local grocery stores and restaurants. They distribute it to people in need. Right about the time the pandemic started, we just happened upon somebody taking out some trash from a local restaurant and realized that it really wasn't garbage. It was actually all their unsold food from the day. And so we just decided to go in and ask how we could get that. Brooke works out of her car and home garage. She started an online fundraising campaign so she may get a permanent place. We are really looking for a space right now that we can call home to bring that stuff back to, sort it, have volunteers come in and take it to the places where it can get to the hands of people that can use it. Brooke is working to start her own nonprofit to take food that would be thrown out and get it into the hands of those who need it. In Pinellas Park, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.